Hey, good morning. Dr. Fabian Garcia here, owner of Fabian Garcia Physical Therapy, along with Versatillo, assistant and FRC mobility specialist. Now we're exploring the upper extremity intermediate series. So the first thing that we're going to explore is actually known as a posterior capsule stretch or sleeper stretch, more commonly known. A lot of little details in order to get the sleeper stretch properly done, so that's what we're going to review right now while Marissa demonstrates the stretch. Marissa is going to be performing a posterior capsule stretch or sleeper stretch on her right shoulder, so she's going to get into the position. One of the big things is that we're really big fascia heads here. We're like pretty much fascia therapists. So what she wants to do is that she wants to communicate that right shoulder with her left glute. So she's going to bring her feet forward till about here. She's going to dorsiflex her feet, take every opportunity that she's actually working on herself to stretch out her feet for the rest of her life. And she's now going to set up her humerus or her arm at about a 45 degree angle. Now the intention with this is to bring the wrist into her right pocket. Now there's going to be a couple of little details that I personally like to do to make sure that as many joints as are as black as possible or joints where substitutions can occur so it becomes a much more efficient movement. Initially, we'll baby some people if they get neck tension, we'll put the pillow right here. But the chin actually serves as a really important tool because the chin can actually be used to actually block the humerus from rotating up. So she will literally use her chin, her skull weight, to drive the humerus and create a translation of the humerus down so we're properly educating motion or arthrokinematics. From this position right here, she's going to put pressure on top of the top of her wrist and start cranking downward. Now again, anytime that you're dealing with a capsule stretch, it is not a muscle stretch. Tissue like this has to be deformed back to normal. Deformed is just an expression of the stress strain curve. If you look at your basic physics and biophysics and application of forces on organic materials, it just means that she's not going to hold this for 30 seconds so it does absolutely nothing. She's going to hold this <coughs> pose from anywhere to, from two to five minutes. Why? Because the research, the research has shown 15 years ago that 30 second stretching does not work as an analgesic. If you want your head to feel better, stretch out for 20 seconds, I don't care. But if you want to make changes and communicate with both the joint and the fascial system, the deepest anatomical elements that you have, we're gonna hit this for three to five minutes. Every time she's going through here, She's going to be manipulating her breathing cycle, so she's driving parasympathetic innervation via exhalation into this. What does that all mean? It means breathe in for one, exhale for five. Four, three, two, one. It's gonna be on the exhalation portion where she's gonna be looking for gains, one or two degrees at a time. You can exhale your way out of tension. You cannot inhale your way out of tension. Let me repeat that. You can exhale your way out of tension. You can exhale your way into gains. Beautiful. Three to five minutes. About five second exhalation should do the trick right there. You're gonna see some wonderful gains. I do this every single day. Why? Because this actually helps with my left gluteal issues. Again, it's all related through slings, folks. Okay. Thank you very much for your time.